All right, everyone, Max Story back today. Uh, we made it up to chapter 13 and change happens. And uh, chapter 13 is initiating change. And this applies to you regardless of your position or title. You can initiate change. You'll become more valuable to the company. And you may work for a leader who does not like you to initiate change. So then you've got to read a lot of other leadership books. Uh, actually, I would recommend Blue Collar Leadership. Uh, leading from the front lines would be a, a great one for you to read to help you learn how to lead your leader. That's really what you learn to do, which is really you have to learn how to lead yourself well regardless of what type of leader you have. And uh, so that's how you can initiate change when maybe the leader don't want you to initiate change. But here I'm assuming that that, that you're working in an organization that wants you to initiate change or for a leader that wants you to initiate change. Or you want to become a leader who wants to motivate and inspire your team to help you by initiating change themselves. And what I talk about in here are the three levels of change initiation. And you may have heard this before, but I'm putting it in the context of uh, being proactive. So the three different levels. One level is you know, I identify a problem. I tell someone else who's responsible for the problem that there is a problem, but I don't really offer any solutions and I don't address the problem myself. Uh, the second level is identify a problem and provide a solution. I see something wrong and before I even tell anyone else about it, I think on it intentionally and come up with a solution. So when I maybe go to my boss and say, hey, I've, I've discovered we got an issue here and I've come up with one way to solve it. Or even better, I've came up with two or three ways to solve it. Do you like any of these? What's happening is your leader sees that you're not just someone who points out problems. You're someone who they can depend on to help solve problems. Therefore, your influence increases. The third way is identify a problem and solve the problem. The best thing a leader would love to hear is, when you pass by it, uh, or when they pass by you, you may stop them and say, uh, you know, I identified this problem last week, and either I by myself or I with the, our team, we developed a solution, implemented the solution, and addressed the problem. It no longer exists, but I'm just letting you know there was a problem. Now you're really elevating your influence with others, and you're becoming a leader of change. You're initiating the change and have become responsible for addressing a solution that'll move you and the organization forward. 